Thank you for letting us do our work. and MLA 
ladies in attendance. Please stand so we can see you. Stephen Harper. It's nothing, more, it's nothing more than a hollow and cynical 
beautiful gesture by the liberals to claim to defend the very rights they voted to undermine. It's a failure of leadership to fall victim to the very fear that you're accusing Stephen Harper of spreading. And it's a perfect example of why here on Vancouver Island and across Canada, you can trust New Democrats to first to stand up to Stephen Harper and then to defeat him. Fear and division yeah. 
with the politics of hope and yeah. optimism. Yeah. Are you ready to replace Stephen Harper's conservatives with an NDP government and get Canada on track? Yeah. Well, that works out well because we're ready too. <laughs> it's great to be back in Victoria. And it's great to see so many of our BCMLAs here tonight. And here on the island, our party has put together an incredible federal team that's going to take on and defeat Stephen Harper in the next election. Because we all know that on the island, it's new Democrats who defeat Conservatives. Just as in Alberta, eh? Yeah. always been very strong here. Jean Crowder is also with us here tonight and for more than a decade Jean has served the people of Nanaimo with passion and commitment so on behalf of all New Democrats thank you Jean for a job incredibly well done. Conservatives, Canadians are ready for change in Ottawa. That's not difficult to see why. Middle class families and those fighting to get into the middle class are working harder and harder, but falling further behind. Incomes are actually dropping while household debt is rising. The number of Canadians who are unemployed today has increased by over a quarter of a million people since the 2008 recession. The jobs that are being created are part-time and precarious. According to the CIBC, the quality of jobs today is at the lowest level in two decades. And all the while, that gap between the middle class and the wealthiest few, well, it's also at an all-time high, and you know what? It's only getting larger. For the first time in Canada's history, current generations will actually be worse off than their parents and their grandparents. Never happened before in Canadian history. That's the legacy of both conservative and liberal governments. But you know, and I know, it doesn't have to be this way. Stephen Harper, Rilisante, a aidé les plus riches à coups de milliards. Les conservateurs s'entêtent. L'économie en souffre, et c'est la classe moyenne qui en fait le prix. On peut et on doit faire mieux. Over the past months, we've announced just a few of our concrete, practical proposals. We will repair the damage Stephen Harper has done and set Canada on the right. <laughs> Under Stephen Harper, seniors can't retire until 67. We'll reverse that and bring the retirement age back to 65. <laughs> that and bring in a federal minimum wage of $15 an hour. <laughs> Under Stephen Harper, child care for millions of families is scarce and unaffordable. In fact, parents across BC pay almost $11,000 a year for child care, the second highest rate in the entire country. We'll fix that and deliver one million fifteen dollar a day childcare spaces across Canada. <laughs> and under Stephen Harper, his number one priority is to transfer billions of dollars from the middle class to the wealthiest fifteen percent through income splitting. We'll fix that too. We'll scrap his income splitting scheme and invest that money in middle class families right here in British Columbia. <laughs> Under Stephen Harper, CEOs avoid paying their fair share of taxes. 
taxes through tax loopholes. At the same time, a million Canadian children live in poverty. We'll fix that by closing the stock option tax loopholes and transfer every dollar of that money to help lift children and their families out of poverty. is vital to a stronger economy and a stronger Canada. I believe that to ensure cities like Victoria thrive and are affordable, Ottawa must become a stable, long-term partner for transit and affordable housing. I also believe that it's time to reward the job creators in BC and across Canada. You see, after years of giving Canada's largest and most profitable corporations billions and billions in tax breaks, it's time we rewarded small businesses who create 80% of the new jobs in this country. They're the backbone of our local communities. So, we proposed to lower the small business tax rate from 11 to 9%. of Commons. You know what happened? The Conservatives voted against it. Well, weeks later, they took our proposal and they put it in their budget. The problem is, nobody believes them. So let's just say this to small business operators here in British Columbia. Don't be fooled by Stephen Harper, because if he truly believed in giving you a tax break, and if he wanted to help you create new jobs, he wouldn't make you wait another three years before it came into effect. <laughs> the NDP, we know where we stand. We actually support small business, and we'll begin the tax reduction right away. government has no greater responsibility than to ensure the safety of the public. And government must also make decisions that are in the long-term interest of Canadians. These are values that have guided me in my 35 years of public service. These are the values that guided me as Quebec's Environment Minister, where I put in place Quebec's Sustainable Development Act. It requires the government to look at the environmental, social, and economic impacts before going forward with any project. One of my proudest moments in all those years of public service. That legislation remains the most comprehensive of its kind in all of North America. And you know what? It goes so far as to enshrine in the Quebec Charter of Rights the right to live in a clean and healthy environment, respectful of biodiversity, and provides a real tool to ensure rigorous enforcement. And as Minister, I didn't just talk about lowering carbon pollution, I lowered greenhouse gas emissions each and every year. That's my record, and I'm proud of it. center for the difficult decisions that are made in government day in and day out. Whether it's meeting premiers to improve our federation or with world leaders to discuss the global economy or security threats, being Prime Minister isn't an entry-level job. <laughs> Your NDP team and I have the experience to defeat Stephen Harper and move Canada in the right direction. I'm so proud to have a colleague like Murray, who stands up for better patient care for all Canadians. An NDP government with Murray Rankin would restore the $36 billion that the Conservatives cut to health care transfers. Brand 
Merkel has received praise from across the country for his fight against conservatives and liberals who tried to rush C-51 through Parliament. And in the, the government with Randall Garrison would protect our security and our rights and would start by repealing C-51. If you want a government that will bring about a better democracy with proportional representation, <laughs> and if you want a government that will bring real change in Ottawa, like we saw last week in Alberta, <laughs> then I invite you to join us in the NDP because we're the one party that can defeat Stephen Harper on October 19th. <laughs> My family story is that of millions of Canadians. Growing up the second oldest of 10 kids, we had to work for everything we had. It wasn't easy. We worked hard, played by the rules, and lived within our means. We learned the importance of looking out for one another, of sticking together, of backing up your principles with action. These are the values that guided me as a husband, as a father, and as a grandfather. These values have guided my 35 years of public service, including as a cabinet minister. These are the values that will guide me as your next prime minister. opportunities they need and our seniors get the benefits they deserve. One yeah. that protects the rights and freedoms that Canadians hold so dear. An NDP government will build a Canada where democratic traditions are respected at home and our reputation as a country is respected abroad. being 
taken for granted. Yeah. Yeah. Families who were tired of a government that ignored the fact that they are working harder but falling further behind. Progressives united to flex their political muscle and bring about the change that was years in the making. We did it in Quebec in 2011, we did it in Alberta last week, and we'll do it from coast to coast to coast on October 19th.